One of the ongoing questions that engineers have when they're first starting out with Atmos and especially mixing Atmos music is when do you go to the bed and when do you choose an object for things? And if you look around online, there are a lot of different opinions on this. So today I just want to do a quick little demo uh, so that you can listen to some things because most of the arguments for using one or the other have to do with how things translate to the binaural. Since most people who are consuming Atmos music content are going to be listening over headphones for the foreseeable future, that binaural translation is really important. So let's grab some headphones and head over to Pro Tools so that I can do a quick demo for you. So what I have here is just an automated bit of pink noise. I'm just going to basically fly it around the room and you're going to be able to see it in the panner here in Pro Tools. And I've also got the renderer up while we're in object mode. You should be able to see that object moving around in the renderer. And I just want you to listen to how does it sound as it's going around. So put on your headphones and let's take a listen. So it's pretty smooth, just moving around the room. I hear it moving behind my head, which is one of the cool things about the binaural in Atmos to basically give us that sense of space. Now, let's listen to what happens when I change this so that it's going to pan through the bed instead of moving an object around the space. Once again, let's go to headphones. So now it's not so smooth anymore. Whenever it's kind of going between these phantom centers on the panner, I'm hearing the pink noise change. And this is one of the big reasons for me why would I choose an object versus the bed. For me, I typically start in the bed. As far as the render is concerned, at least from my understanding and what I've been told is the renderer thinks of the bed, basically it's just a set of objects with fixed position. This is really more about how we're handling things from a workflow perspective rather than changing how the renderer is going to handle it for Atmos. Now, if I listen to that pink noise kind of moving around the room in my speakers, it sounds smooth whether I'm in an object or I'm in a bed. Really, to me, this is mainly about how the binaural handles things. So my approach is pretty simple. If I want to place something in kind of a discrete location, sort of that matches the speaker positions in the panner, I'll use the bed. That's basically the kind of Atmos approach um, that we had when we would do LCR mixing. So if I just want something in that spot, I'll go to the bed. When I start putting things in the room in places in between those locations, I will go to an object. If I want to do anything overhead into the height channels, I typically go towards the objects because I just feel like the binaural side of things handles objects better when it renders for binaural than when I try and pan through the bed. So that's my approach. Your mileage, of course, may vary. You should really mess around and play around and experiment for yourself and figure out what you like. So if you got Atmos questions, want to find out more about Atmos, want to get your music mixed in Atmos, I'd love to chat. You can visit my website at www.stagelproductions.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.